got a new water bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a shot and see how it boils water. But check this out. This is a all stainless water bottle, 40 ounces on the nose. The inside of the cap is stainless as well. And due to a manufacturing defect, it also doubles as a dry storage compartment inside my water bottle where I have some dry chaga that I could use as tinder or I could put water purification tablets in here a small thing of bleach you name it that looks to be about a three ounce compartment Pops right back on. And I can cinch it down. Never know nothing was in there. Now the nice thing is, since that lid was defective, the seller sent me a new lid that apparently is not defective. It won't come apart. I'm sure I could force it to come apart if I wanted to. Uh, the only problem with this lid is if you're not careful you might have a hard time getting it tightened down because the plastic slides um, but really as long as you're careful and you check it each time it's good to go but over time it probably will wear out but I thought that was kind of a neat feature put iodine in there whatever you need to you know to purify your water and they sent me another lid. It has a little key ring with a carabiner on it. The weight of the bottle empty with the lid on is just over eight ounces. I always carry some uh, soft flexible wire in my kit. You know, you never know what you're gonna need this for. I might need it for a bike repair, or maybe I need it to tie something down to my bike. Uh, could use it to make a snare, I suppose. But a lot of times what I use it for is boiling water. Don't want that lid on there when we boil it. And we don't want this paracord on here either. So we can just take that off instead just twist this wire on here and now we got a handle to get it in and out of the out of the fire the diameter of the bottle is three and nine sixteenths inches just over three and a half. The length or height of the bottle with the lid attached is ten and three quarter inches. I was about two forty eight when I lit that. See how long it takes to boil a quart of water. Without the lid, it's nine and one sixteenths inches tall. Well, here it is, uh, two fifty-five, and it's already boiling. So, 
about seven, eight minutes to boil a quart of water in that bottle. And it's a raging boil too. And all I used was a few little sticks. The diameter of the mouth of the bottle is one and three quarter inches on the inside. And I'll go ahead and uh, drop my chaga tea in there. So let's pull it off the heat first. I just left a long enough string on this so I can pull it back out after the fact. Dunk it up and down. That's it, got chaga tea in under 10 minutes. The bottom of the bottle is stamped Echo Tanka Stainless Steel 304. And there are no markings anywhere else on the bottle. No paint, no lining, just stainless steel. It's stained up because I had it in a fire. Seems pretty solid to me too, pretty thick. So it doesn't have the wide opening of the wide mouth Gio bottle, but uh, works pretty good. Anyway, uh, I don't know if you can see the minnows swimming around here, but just wanted to say thanks for watching and thanks for all the comments and support. And in case you're wondering, yes, I carry an aluminum yardstick and a kitchen scale out into the woods with me to the lake to go fishing. Put my chocolate tea in the water to cool it off. My chocolate tea ought to be cool enough to drink. Hopefully, it doesn't feel like it. Oh yeah, it's cooled right off.